Hey, it's me, Zafo Beeblebrox, the British Tech Guru. I went shopping on AliExpress. I know. It's shameful. It's a... It's just something I do. Anyway, this is a Walmart bag, clearly. But these are the goodies that I got on AliExpress. And... I got a lot of goodies for 10 or 20 dollars I can't remember how much um anyway I've made a mistake I bought these which are really really nifty they're kind of like LED bar graph things Let's see if I can get them out of the bag oh dear there we go LED bar graph things which I can run using a um, oh one of the uh, what do you call it now my brain has gone dead it's a shift register I use this with a shift register now when I bought it I thought this was going to be one each so I bought five so now I have a ton of these so let's just put them in a container just to get them out of the way. Ah, huh, those two are stuck together. Okay. Okay. So like I said, I bought a ton of these and I just me not really realizing what I was actually buying. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. These bags do not. I tell you something, when you get in your 50s, bags become ever harder to open. I can't really explain it. But it's, um, and they're all stuck together. It's kind of what, what happens. And you become, I'm going to say decrepit in your old age. So I, I'm, what, 58, nearly 58. Yes, I've been disgracing the earth for 58 years, nearly 58 years. Oh dear, those are stuck together too. Okay, separate them. Okay. Now that's got almost all of... Oh, got another packet. Like I said, I bought five packets by mistake. Um, and I'm going to... I'll probably end up using them. But I don't think I'm probably ever going to need to buy any more in my entire lifetime. And 25 of those is quite a lot. And then I bought myself some of these. LED digits. Oh, come on, open. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, good Lord. Again. I bought a ton of them, so we're going to put them in there, LED digits, and again, these, these work with a shift register, and I have a project that is coming up using a shift register and these, and prob just demonstrating how a shift register works. Now, do I have any more? Oh, I have another set of these as well. Now, obviously, that little tray is going to be absolutely chock-a-block. Oop, wind. Okay. There we go. Now that's those. 
No, I have these. These are smaller LED digits. In fact, they're four digit displays. Again, using a shift register. So you can expect to see some of those in, uh, in future projects. And, you know, I, and I just, I haven't yet mastered shift registers, which is a pain. But the benefit of switching to this long video format is that I can spend more time doing things. And even if they're going to be utterly boring, I can still do a lot more things. Because I can spend the time doing them and not feel rushed like I was to make 14 short videos a week when people really didn't want 14 short videos a week. Now that's all the little bits. Of course, um, I did see some microcontrollers. Now that's my microcontroller tray. I need more microcontrollers, like I need a hole in the head. But, let me put that there. Um, I got some really interesting microcontrollers this time. Uh, do I have any more like this? Oh gosh, yes I do. <laughs> uh, that is, I think, so is that an ESP32? Or a Node? I don't know. Is that the same as what I've just bought? Let's have a look. Yes, that looks identical. Um, yeah, so I've just bought myself two more of these because I like the fact it's got a display on it. Um, it's also got... Come on, come out of there. Um, it's also got Bluetooth. So, very handy. Display and Bluetooth. So, yeah. And I, oddly enough, I do have yet more microcontrollers on the way. Um, Half-size Raspberry Pi Picos, which I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for, but they look useful, so I, so I got them. This, uh, th this is my whole problem with, micro with electronics and microcontrollers. If it looks useful and it's cheap, I'll probably buy it. <laughs> so that is basically my whole microcontroller tray at the moment. Now I should be getting more of the the, the Pi Peak, mini Pi Picos and I do I do have some uses for them. Each of these microcontrollers will be used for a, a specific purpose. And some of them will like some of them like these, like the Metro. That'll just get recycled and used again for other projects. Um, things like these ESP32s, well, I, I never got around to using them, but they'll, uh, they're specific, specific things. The Pi Picos here, well, that's actually a Pico Wi-Fi, um, I use for a whole di range of different things. But one of the things I really, really, really like are these AT tiny microcontrollers like that, that I can just build into a circuit and just leave it in the circuit forever. Anyway, that was my package today from AliExpress.